Well, in Colombia, U.S. investigators are interviewing employees at the hotel where the Secret Service prostitution scandal unfolded. Now, three agents have already been forced out, and more could be gone by the end of the day. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Nottingham has the latest developments from Washington. The Secret Service investigation into a scandal involving prostitutes could cost more agents their jobs. I don't see how those who are involved in this should be able to continue in their work. CBS News has learned the results of the polygraph test given to the agents who've already had their security clearance suspended could be in today. Those results will likely determine if more will be fired. As the evidence builds, then the director has sufficient evidence to push them out. Two of the three agents already forced out have been identified as supervisors Greg Stokes, who was fired, and David Cheney, who retired. I would sure love to get to run the Michigan. Cheney, who once served on vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin's detail, posted a picture of him and Palin on Facebook, commenting, quote, I was really checking her out, if you know what I mean. On Fox News, Palin responded. Out. Well, check this out, bodyguard, you're fired. Palin is joining a growing chorus of Republicans questioning how the White House is handling the scandal and President Obama's leadership. He's really got to start cracking down and, and seeing some heads roll. Palin is joining a growing chorus of Republicans questioning how the White House is handling the scandal and President Obama's leadership. The White House has maintained it has confidence in the current Secret Service Director Mark Sullivan. He has been briefing the White House and congressional leaders throughout the investigation and promises to take action if he has evidence of wrongdoing. And that was Danielle Nottingham reporting. The Pentagon is also investigating 10 members of the military who are linked to that scandal. Well, still the